Live from the local station, the 10 o'clock news starts now. A woman finds a six-year-old alone in a running car, the keys inside. She says anyone could have taken off with him from that big box store parking lot. I mean, it could have been the wrong person. It could have been a sexual predator. Somebody could have stole the vehicle being it was running with the child in it. It could have been, you know, a disaster. Moments after spotting the child, that woman says a man came out claiming it was his car. And that woman doesn't want you to know who she is tonight. She claims he nearly hit her multiple times when he was trying to drive off. The woman tells News for Jax she called police after noticing the boy was left by himself in a running car in the Walmart parking lot off Beaches and Hodges on Monday. And that's where News for Jax reporter Corley Peel is joining us live. Corley, why did this woman feel she needed to step in? Kit and Mary, the woman is a mother herself, and whenever she saw the boy left alone in the car in this parking lot, she instantly felt something was wrong. She says when she confronted the boy's father, he became hostile, but she felt if she hadn't waited for him, the boy could have been in serious danger. This crowded Walmart parking lot of Beaches and Hodges is where Chrissy says she saw a boy left alone in a running car on Monday with the keys still in the ignition. She asked us not to show her face. I noticed somebody in the vehicle, a kid, I didn't really know how old. I went shopping for about 30 minutes. I came outside and I saw a six-year-old inside of a vehicle. Christy asked a bystander for help. She says they found out the boy was six years old after the bystander tapped on the window. He told me that he was hungry, thirsty, and that he was scared. He didn't know where his parents were. Christy chose to call police. Before officers arrived, she says the boy's father walked out of the Walmart and towards the car. The gentleman came outside and he started screaming, get away from his vehicle. And I asked him why he left his child in the vehicle. Um, he told me that his stomach was hurting, which he came out with bags full of food. Um, as a parent, I find that very unsettling. Christy says the man got in his car, revved his engine, <laughs> backed up, nearly hitting her more than once. At one point, she says the man brushed the side of her foot with his tire. So what do you hope can happen? Um, I just want parents to know don't leave their children in the vehicle um, unattended, especially with the keys. You don't know who's around. You don't know what they're doing. Um, with all the sex trafficking, child trafficking, and stuff like that, you really don't know what could happen. She hopes that's the last time this father leaves his son in the car. A police report has been filed as an assault and dispute in this case. We have requested that information from JSO, but we have not received it yet. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.